You're watching NDTV 24-7. I'm Amitabh Brevi. And once again, the national capital shows how unsafe it is for women. A young woman was gang raped in a moving bus in Delhi last night. Not only was she raped, she was brutally beaten and thrown off the bus. The 23-year-old medical student is now in the hospital where her condition is said to be extremely critical. The woman and her male friend had boarded a private bus around 11 p.m. from the Munika area in South Delhi for Palam, which is on the outskirts. The friend was first attacked in the bus with rods and then the woman was gang raped by five men. The two were then thrown out of the bus near the Mahipalpur flyover in South Delhi where they were found in a semi-naked state. The woman has been admitted to hospital and has had multiple surgeries, but is critical. The girl was raped, beaten and thrown off the bus and is fighting for life now, currently on ventilator after multiple surgery. Her condition is extremely critical. As said, uh, she has been put on a ventilator and injuries are there on the face and abdomen as well as the intestine which is severely damaged and she has gone through multiple surgeries. Just looking at how this horror unfolded, the girl and her friend went to watch a movie at Select City Walk Mall in Saket area of South Delhi yesterday. They then took an auto rickshaw from Saket to Munirka. After reaching Munirka, they took a private bus to go to Palam Vihar, where the girl stays. But before that, the girl was gang raped in the moving bus, beaten and stripped. She and a friend, who was also beaten for standing up to the rapist, were thrown off the moving bus at Mahipalpur. There were five to six people in the bus. <laughs> जो उचित कार्रवाई वो करनी पड़ेगी सक्षम तक कार्रवाई न केवल इस व्हाइट लाइन बस के ऊपर लेकिन फ्यूचर में भी ऐसे कुछ कांड न हो इस तरह के हाथ से न हो पाए इस पे भी हम देखेंगे पूरा इस पे जांच कराके सक्षम तक कार्रवाई और जो हमारे सीसीटीवी कैमरास की बात चल रही है उसको हम जांच कर रहे हैं आपने मुझे बताया कि इसके पूरे जांच करके हम पूरा किसी को बख्शे नहीं प्रॉब्लम ये होती है जब हम एक्शन को स्ट्रेन ना ले लोगों की हिम्मत बढ़ती है एक्शन जबरदस्त नहीं बढ़ता है these white line buses that a 23-year-old victim boarded last night along with a male friend. The details with the police currently are that both of them came out of Select City Walk in Saket from where they boarded an auto rickshaw to the Munirka bus stop. From the Munirka bus stop, they boarded one of these private white line buses which was supposed to take them to their homes towards Dwarka. But on board, she was raped, repeatedly gang raped by five men. And later, both of them were dropped at the Mahipalpur flyover. I'm not so much shocked as I am weary of hearing about news of women being attacked all over the country. And I feel like if anything is to change, it has to change from the harasser side and not just saying women have to wear this, women have to act like that. Because it is not something that could have been foreseen by the women. A, a sense of fear needs to be struck into the hearts of the people who feel like they can go around and abuse any woman, man for that matter. So you would like to see these culprits caught as soon as possible and yes. punished? Yes. I don't feel like the death penalty is something to be called for here. I would rather they go to jail for 20 years and have to save community labor and suffer for what they've done instead of taking the easy way out. Law, of course, is uh, something and law enforcement catching the culprits is one thing. Is that uh, something that you're demanding too? That is just looking at one side of the aspect. I think instances such as these have become so common in our society that even girls today are aware and uh, apart from awareness, they should go in for self-defense training so that they can enjoy their liberty as they please and they will not um, be scared anymore of uh, things like these happening because they know that they are equipped with proper training. A horrific crime in Delhi that has produced shockwaves around the country. A young girl gang raped and beaten, her friend also assaulted. We'll be speaking now to some young Bangaloreans for their take on this issue. When you heard about this, what was your response? Uh, being a ballroom dance instructor, I feel that uh, I, I see new age women coming into my studio feeling more and more comfortable with their bodies and acts such as these just puts 
it shatters their confidence it it stops them from getting out in the open which is exactly what these criminals want so my point is that these acts uh, need to be given a very very a, a larger a more severe punishment than what it is than it is given now and and the punishments need to be taken on a more immediate level i mean it it can't be stretched out to this kind of an extent. justice needs to be seen to be done immediately Absolutely. on yeah immediately immediately uh she, she's spoken about anxiety of women yes. going out after an assault like this how do you respond as a man when you read of such thing there is a lot of chagrin because uh we 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 keeping on heralding a bolder new india a more liberated new or india but these acts just do nothing but regress that that attitude so to speak and uh, they should be condoned and people such as these must be put to shame as at, at to the highest gradient can majmudar shah the chairman and managing director of biocon limited uh, called for the severest of punishments for those responsible i mean i'm shocked to even think of such barbarian acts you know i think it's it's really sad it's shocking it's tragic and i think something has to be done uh, you know to stop these kinds of ugly you know incidents because i don't know what's happening to our young people what's happening to our people at large how could we even you know do such things i mean it, it it's shocking it's disgusting and all i can say as a citizen and as a woman is that we have to you know address these societal defects and we must make sure that we we build a safe society a society that respects women and a society where people who indulge in thus such heinous crimes must be dealt with very severely india's number 1 news app just got even better download any tv's new app fully optimized for retina display full screen view faster response time and sudoku ndtv's new ipad app download now